Okay, so let's take a look at our left hand and the fingers on the left hand, the thumb. Pointer finger is one, middle finger two, ring finger three, pinky four. On the instrument, the fretboard is part of the chord diagram. Whenever we read chords, that's what we're gonna to need to be able to relate it to. This is called the nut, and then the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, all the way down, keeping going higher in number. The space between the frets should be considered like a room, and the frets should be considered like the wall. And in between those, the, the space of the wall, that's like the floor, and that's where your point, where your fingers want to be pressing down the strings, not on top of the wall, but in the middle of the floor of the of the room. Um, when you use your fingers, you want to just slide them along the uh, strings and gently press down. Use your thumb to press forward on the, on the back of the neck towards the finger and not as much pressure from your fingers back towards your thumb. Your thumb is much stronger and its force forward will help make a more even sound. Um, let's take a look at how to use your thumb to pluck the strings. If you put your thumb against the frets on the fretboard and then press slightly towards the fretboard but also in a direction towards the, the ground, you can get uh, a pressure buildup and then let the strings slip out from behind like this. Here's another one on the C string. And then your thumb will touch the next string to stop. Watch the way that my thumb will stop rest against the bottom string. And then at the end, you'll go into nothing. You gotta be careful there because that one can get louder. So you have to just control that bottom string. So now we're gonna try pointing using our pointer finger and we're just gonna go fret, fret, fret up one, two, three, four, five and we're gonna use our thumb on the bottom string. You can support the ukulele even with your fingers so you can have better balance. We're gonna start with an open bottom string A, then point your finger on the first fret. Second fret, slide up. Use your thumb to balance and push forward. Keep your thumb directly behind your pointer finger. And just keep going. What we're actually playing is a chromatic scale all the way up to the where the, top, the string will end, the frets will end. Then we can do that with the next string. and the next string. And you can do it even with the top string. And you can do it with any of these fingers. Do the same thing, or you can do I would leave my pinky out of it. But I would encourage you to experiment a little bit with what your fingers can do and just the chromatic scale to get the thumb, the thumb pluck and the pointers and understanding that shortening the string makes it higher. So that's a lot. Give that a shot and practice on your own and uh, we'll be back to learn more in the next unit.